<laughs> so touching. He, you know what? You mm-hmm. get him. Much like Nazis get Donald Trump. You get him. Yeah, a couple of grown men crying over a droid in a Star Wars Getting show. knocked over by a That's hologram a, we're, or whatever. We're texting back and forth. We're, Travis and I are texting back and forth. Are you seeing this? Oh, my God. Tears are rolling I'm down sorry. my face. The I thing that killed me was, oh, just... I was wa- my mom walked through. Was that's the thing? <laughs> she walked Thank in and said, totally "What are you watching?" My mom, my mom, you're blocking the hologram. No, okay. I no, I actually paused the show and explained the entire plot of the show to my mom, <laughs> crying. Oh my, oh my god! Hi, good morning. Here, here's another Hi, reference. Good morning, I, I good day. Here's another reference I don't get, but it sounds really funny. You said, "How nice to have normal White House holiday decorations that don't look like Vecna's lair in Stranger Things." I could just tell uh, that's I, I funny, that. and got I don't it. even know what I don't. You might be in good company because I, I recall that tweet didn't get a whole lot of traction. Like, what are you talking? <laughs> it was a like, show. Oh. It was just out over the summer. And the Vecna it. was the major villain in Stranger yeah. Things, and yeah, yeah. Unless Rachel Maddow said it, or it's on Grey's Anatomy. I didn't see it. Okay. Yeah. Well, it did. It looked very much the same. He had like these weird Christmas tree looking things that contained oh. human bodies. Oh. And it was, yeah. Crazy scary, and yeah. and of course that was what they, Melania's. They look like Melania's men- effing, menstrual effing trees. decorations. The effing, effing Christmas. Yes, the the Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 those whatever those red things were <laughs> that she put Tampons. in the hallways of the White House. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Um, you uh said not paying here once again, Bob. You always uh make this point. Somebody tweeted, "It feels like by talking about the dinner, the Nazi dinner, even to denounce the attendees, we're doing all these attention hungry narcissists a favor." And you said, "No, not paying attention to them is the favor." Let's say the Republicans stop paying attention to Hillary Clinton, Black Lives Matter, Hunter Biden, Planned Parenthood from now on, just to deprive them of attention. Would that be? good news or bad news for democrats um oh yeah while he's still i don't know apparently the front runner one of them for the republican nomination for president Mm -hmm. it's relevant right yeah yeah this is i find this is increasingly a losing argument for me i feel like i'm way out on a limb it's like it's me and chris we're just standing way out there going hey hey look you know what these people are villains and we need to pay attention to villains you know the sun Tzu, know your enemy thing evil thrives in darkness in fact travis that was from andor yes the empire thrives in darkness nerd wake up Um, they literally said you would have you would like this speech stephanie i think someone else said that before (laughs) it was great It was great, and it stirred me up. It made it motivated me to tweet more about how we should pay attention to these villains, yes. who, by the way, are already famous. We're not going to make them more famous right. by following their words. We're going to help, hope, hopefully, help to marginalize them. But I think it's a good point that those of us who are saying, "Hey, you know what you do with Donald Trump and Elon Musk and all these guys?" is you block them and go plug your ears and say, "La la la," not listening. Well, if they were doing that to Democrats. Oh, happy day. Wouldn't that be great yeah. if they started, you know, if, if they actually, you know, shut up about Hunter Biden or Hillary Clinton or emails yeah. or whatever they're talking about today? Uh, that would be a wonderful, liberating moment where we would finally be able to get some things done without having to constantly deflect this nonsense. Yeah. So flip that around and imagine what it would be like if we stopped paying attention to their political leadership. I, here's my problem with this story. This is the biggest big bag of rats story ever. I, I, I don't know. They're all liars. They're all Nazis. They're all sem- anti-Semites. They're all awful. I don't even know who to believe, right? So this was the NBC News story, right? Mark Caputo is the one that quoted far-right troll Milo. What's his name? Yiannopoulos. Yiannopoulos. Saying that Trump fell prey to a trap designed to make Trump's life miserable by having him share a meal with the neo-Nazi Nick Fuentes at Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> Fuentes took to Telegram to call that report fake news. I don't... Okay. Yee's political advisor, Milo Yiannopoulos, has grown illusion, disillusioned with Trump and said he was the architect of the dinner trap. He said he knew the meeting would leak and he dispatched Fuentes just to make Trump's life miserable. Fuentes shot down that idea. My intention was not to hurt Donald Trump by attending the dinner. That's fake news. I love Donald Trump. Does anyone care no. which Nazi is lying? No. Or which one is no. It's like, no. Oh, my they're just, God. They're all, they're all different levels of horrendous. Of awful. And, yes. And yeah, they're turning yeah, on and, each other. Yeah. We were saying before, 
you know, wouldn't it be great if this was the thing that finally did him in? But we've been down this road many times before. Charlottesville, Helsinki, January yeah. 6th. The Republicans line up and condemn, just like Mitch McConnell did yesterday, yeah. just yeah. like he did right after January 6th. And then suddenly it's back to business as usual for the Republican Lindsey Party, Graham which is condemned. constantly yeah. Yeah, Lindsey circling Graham the wagons after around January Trump. 6th. So then, yeah, Milo is, home. just to finish, is apparently Kanye's campaign manager. Oh, God. <laughs> And said, everybody, me included, loves Trump and wants 2016 Trump back. That still won't be enough to authentically be, uh, I, what's his F, uh, but at least would make the journey more interesting. So I just literally fight, fight, fight. Big bag of Nazi rats. And yeah, yeah. Milo is the driver of the clown car. That's, I don't think that's something to brag about. Is he still <laughs> straight? Me. Yeah. Oh, that's right. He turned straight. <laughs> oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, okay.